The Sri Padmanabha Swami Temple of Thiruvananthapuram in South India is a fine example of exquisite architecture that blends Dravidian and traditional Kerala styles. Among its many dazzling features is the Gopuram, the tower, at the temple's main entrance. The tower rises a hundred feet above the ground, with a foundation that goes nearly forty feet deep. Ornate sculptures adorn the walls of the Gopuram. The Gopuram was a later addition to the main temple, which itself is a thousand years old. The construction of the Gopuram was started in the mid-16th century, during the reign of the Travancore king Aditya Varma, and was largely completed in the 18th century during the rule of King Anuyam Tirunal Martandavarma. There are seven floors to this tower structure, with a pair of window-like openings at the center of each floor on its opposite sides. On the exact two days of the equinox, one gets to see the setting sun aligned and passing exactly through each of the windows in roughly five minute intervals. On other days, the setting sun is blocked out from our view by the tower. Equinoxes are the two days of the year when the day and night are of approximately equal duration. On these days, the sun rises exactly east and sets exactly west. The equinoxes correspond to the two points where the projection of the Earth's equator on the sky intercepts the projection of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. The two equinoxes occur on dates close to March 21st and September 23rd every year. To make this alignment happen, the Gopuram had to be constructed at right angles to the exact east-west line, a feat requiring precision engineering. The inner sanctum of the temple, a much earlier construction, is also aligned this way. <laughs> 